everyone, I'm Evelyn. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So today we are doing an apartment. This one is built in 17 Culpeper House in the Spice District. Is that what it's called? Spice District? So I actually had to, um, it's autumnal again, by the way. I'm like, I probably sh like, probably gonna do the next house as an autumnal inspired house as well, just because for some reason, autumn hasn't really fully hit Denmark. I know the trees are turning yellow-brown-ish, but not... I'd, everything is still... It's so warm outside, like I can go outside without a scarf. It doesn't feel like autumn yet, it's very strange. So like, I have cravings. I crave proper autumn vibes from going outside and I'm just not getting them right now, so I'm gonna outlive them, or... Outlive them? <laughs> that means something else, doesn't it? Outlive my cravings, outlive my dreams, my autumn dreams. Yeah, let's just go with that. Through The Sims right now. So I think the next house that we're doing is also going to be a sort of fall inspired house, but we'll see. And, or actually, I'll see in a little bit because I'm recording it tonight. If I can, at least. I had to split up recording this over yesterday and also today because my hands, like I mentioned in my last video, my hands hurt. But I'm pre-recording because I'm going away, so I just kind of have to ignore it. And then hopefully the pain will go away while I'm away, you know? Like, while I'm not sitting at my computer. It's very inconvenient, if I may say so. Like, it's super annoying. Uh, but yeah, I had to split this up even though it's a very small apartment. So tonight I'm just gonna take my time and if it takes eight hours to record a house because I had to have to take breaks, then so be it. But I want another house up, I think possibly tomorrow. We'll see though. I'm not making any promises. So if you're annoyed by the autumn vibes by now, I'm not gonna apologize because I love them, but just expect that there might be another one coming up, so I can't help myself. I love autumn. Autumn is my favorite season of the year. Everything is just, like, it's not too cold outside still, and it's warm enough to wear a jacket. I miss my scarves at this point, but I also feel like we're halfway through October. It should be scarf weather outside, like, I don't understand what's going on. Um, but, like, September, late September... Early October, it's just, it's like perfect, perfect, uh, not too warm, not too cold. And now the trees as well are turning really beautiful because they're turning yellow and brown before they turn all naked, which we don't like that. Nope, don't like the naked trees. Um, but yeah, there's just something really like magical and I don't know, relaxing about this time of year. So... Yeah, I just love it and I want to, um, like I said, outlive, oh, that's not what it's called, no, it's because I'm translating it directly from Danish, wait, Ulu, not a little like, okay, anyway, so, no more Danish throughout this voiceover, I apologize, I'm just having a little bit of a language crisis right now, I don't know, anyway, so yeah, we're just gonna be feeling some autumn vibes tomorrow as well, or for the next build. Not gonna promise it's up tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow, we don't really do Halloween in Denmark, but... Oh, quick note, by the way, regarding the build. I wanted to go for a color scheme for the interior that, to me, still said hot... hot... hot? Well, I don't... autumn? Hotum? I don't know what that is. Like I said, language crisis. But I wanted to go for a color scheme that, to me, still said autumn, but that wasn't the very like standard orange, red, yellow, and brown. So I decided to go for this like dark purple. And then there's a little bit of green, but it's not like a it's not like a spring green that's like super light and vibrant. It's more like a dusty, darker kind of a bit at least kind of green. We're not using a lot of that green, just like a little bit. Inspired by the fridge, because the color of the fridge is actually stunning. So I just wanted to Include a little bit of it throughout the apartment, plus I like the green with the purple as well. I thought the two really complemented each other well. So I just wanted to note on that because they're not the typical kind of... It's not the typical kind of autumn uh, color scheme that we're going for. And you might have been a little bit confused if I hadn't said anything because... Well, you might not have. Isn't that a, like a leaf on the pillow as well? That looks like a leaf. To me, that kind of purple, it could either be like early winter, but to me it's also a fall purple. So, plus it goes well with the oranges as well, as long as they're not like super, super vibrant. But I feel like it, it works in this, 
in this uh in this interior at least to me it does and i built it so you know <laughs> i tried to say that with a straight face but i just i can't but anyway my point was before um what i wanted to say we are my mother and i are going to there's a fun park nearby that we don't do halloween in denmark it's not really like a typical thing to do. I suspect that some families with younger children nowadays might do it, but it's not super common. So it's a bit like from household to household. If they do it, it's not like a, a, a tradition in Denmark per se. I think I actually forgot to clutter the shelf, but I go back and do it later. So you might not see what ends up being on the shelf, but it's just those usual spice boxes that I size up from Dine Out because they look like cereal boxes. <laughs> so anyway, uh, but there's a fun park nearby and the fun park always uses basically any excuse to do like uh, exhibitions, I think you would call them, or like a theme for the park so they can change the decorations and stuff. And they've decorated for Halloween. I think it's only open for like eight, nine, ten days or so. So my mom and I are going tomorrow. I'm super excited. I'm not a very Halloween-y kind of person, but I'm excited to, as in like, I don't decorate my apartment. I'm one of those that don't do it. I do watch horror movies, but like I watch horror movies all the all year, you know? <laughs> I haven't actually watched Halloween, which is my favorite horror movie genre or horror movie franchise, sorry. I haven't watched it yet this year, but I think I'm gonna do it once I come back from Italy, because that's usually what I stick to for Halloween, because it's, you know, obvious it's Halloween. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't done that yet, but um, that's like my tradition for Halloween. I watch Halloween, all the movies basically. Well, okay, not the really bad ones. <laughs> if you know the, the franchise, there's a lot of movies and some of them are questionable, like, you, nah. So not those, but the good ones I watch. Like Curse of Michael Myers can stay off my monitor, thank you. We're not, <laughs> we're not touching that. But um, yeah, some of the other ones I definitely watch every year around Halloween. But that's basically my only Halloween tradition. So I don't really do much with it, but I thought going to see the decorations at the fun park would be fun so we're gonna go do that i'm gonna film a little bit for the other channel but yeah i'm just looking forward to it so i don't really know why i start all oh, right because we don't do halloween in denmark that's why i started talking about it right so also i wanted to say as well um throughout this apartment you might notice that it's not like overly autumnal because i toned down on the pumpkins for example but there's a little bit here and there I still wanted, like, I wanted the overall vibe to look autumnal with the color scheme and, like, the cozy vibe factor, if you will. But at the same time, I also wanted to make sure that if you want to play in this apartment in any other season than fall <laughs> or autumn, whatever you want to call it, you can still do that. So there's only a couple of, like, for example, these. I think I took those down, actually. But they're somewhere else in the apartment, at least. Um, but there's only a couple of things. Although here in the child's room, it's a little bit different. I didn't go all in like I could have, but there's a little bit more in there. But the fall decorations are definitely minimal throughout the apartment, so you can just delete them. Put up something else if you want to, if you don't want it to look autumnal for the other seasons, basically. So it's like toned down. I hope I got my point across. I feel like I went on very... Uh, I went in like 10 different directions while trying to explain that. <laughs> but I hope I, I hope I got my point across. I think I started out wanting them to have a cat as well. And then along the way, it kind of changed to a dog. So I don't know what kind of dog, but it's a small dog. If you got any idea, if you like dog breeds, like if you know a lot about them, let me know. If there is a dog breed that screams autumn, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I feel like it does to me, but I could see why other people, some other people would be like, what does she mean? <laughs> What's an autumnal dog? I don't know. Like, golden retrievers are summer dogs, you know? <laughs> you know? And like, uh, a lot of those like sheep dogs, for example, or not sheep dogs. We had an Icelandic sheep dog, which looked like a miniature wolf. Uh, there's also huskies, for example, winter dogs, you know, like, do you get what? Do you get my point? Do you get my way of thinking? So if there's an autumnal dog, I don't know. And if you know breeds, let me know. I thought that one could be kind of 
it makes sense in my head, so I, th I think that could be kind of fun if you got any idea. I think hairless chihuahuas are definitely spring dogs as well, but that might be up for debate. The golden retriever, the Icelandic sheepdog, and the huskies definitely are not up for debate. They belong to certain seasons, that's just how it works. But if you got any other ones, let me know. I don't know, I have a fun- like, it's just- it makes sense in my head. I want to know that I'm not alone in this, okay? So let me know. So they would have some kind of autumnal small dog, maybe a beagle. Oh, is that what it's called? Beagle? The beetle is the dog, or the car, right? And the beagle is the dog. I'm I'm only second guessing myself because I'm doing a voiceover. I just hope you guys know. <laughs> anyway, so the, uh, the child's room. We're almost done in here, actually. I think... Did I already do the laundry room? I might have looked away for a little bit while thinking about dog breeds. So, oh yeah, it's still empty, but they end up having both a laundry room right here that is basically just the laundry machines, the couple of cabinets, some clutter in there. They have some, these two are supposed to look like, I know they don't fit style-wise with the rest of the apartment. So they're supposed to look like they've kind of been built into the apartments, like they came with the apartment. Um, usually kitchens are as well, but I always feel weird making a very standard kitchen that looks like it would come with the apartment and then make everything else look like a certain style. I just feel like it's realistic, but it doesn't fit in style-wise. I've done it a couple of times, I have. But overall, I like to make sure that everything usually matches. So not the closets in here though, uh, or it matches like st style-wise at least. So they have some clutter up here, some towels, some shirts. Oh yeah, hallway as well. Very exciting stuff, super exciting. There's uh, shoes and umbrellas and stuff, but we also do the bathroom. And I took my time with the bathroom with this one. Usually it's not my, as you might know, it's uh, definitely not my favorite room to decorate. I am not a bathroomy kind of person either. So there's two things, not a Halloween-y kind of person, not a bathroomy kind of per person. I just feel like bathrooms are like essential to a home, obviously for obvious reasons, but they're super boring <laughs> to decorate. Your Sims don't spend a lot of time in there either, you know, they do their business and they exit the bathroom. It doesn't have to look good. I just, I mean, it, yeah, I just don't enjoy decorating them. <laughs> so I usually will make sure that they fit with the style, but like I won't try new things in them. Usually, I do sometimes, but usually I'll just kind of stick to like a formula or something. But for this one, I tried extra. Like we're still kind of sticking to a formula, but all bathrooms have the same things, you know? It's, that's why they're not exciting. <laughs> so, um, but st style-wise and also with a few like extra decor pieces such as both the light above the mirror but also the rug that I ended up using. They're supposed to look a little bit more on the autumnal side. I think they work. I think, I don't know, I think it works but I just want you guys to know, okay, for the record, I spent extra, extra effort was put into this bathroom compared to my normal bathrooms, okay? This is a big moment because I do not care for bathrooms at all. So anyway, we are nearing the end of this video, so I'm going to be wrapping up this voiceover now. If you guys like the build, the apartment, you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT and as always, the trade files can be found over on my Patreon, which will be linked to in the description box as well as in the pinned comment but it is an apartment and I have changed the windows so that is something to keep in mind especially if you're on console because you don't have access to tool just noting it for you if you read and you love books check out my booktube channel it's linked to in the pinned comment as well but that is all I got for you guys today so I hope you all enjoyed it please like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did and I will see you all in the next one bye bye Oh baby, love me like you did last night I wanna hold you till the morning comes Oh baby, love me like you did Love me like you did Oh baby, kiss me till I see the light Like you did last night Night Like you did last night
is just as crazy as me Or is it just in my mind Yet to assume